So I've been doing a little bit of shopping online. I purchased some fabric from Cali Fabrics, which is one of my favorite online fabric stores. And I want to share with you what I purchased. So I have the list here that describes what each piece is. So let me see. The first piece I'll share is this bright lime green rayon jersey knit. This is what it looks like. It's just plain. Let me show you how much it stretches. This is my first time looking at this stuff too. So, does that look kind of sheer? A little bit? So, very pretty color. I don't have anything like this color in my wardrobe, so I thought that would be interesting. The next one is a shirting piece. This is a lavender and white textured stripe Italian shirting. And I don't know if you will be able to see the stripes because they are really teeny, teeny, tiny. But this is the fabric. And the stripes are vertical. This might be the outside, yes. Oh, the inside is much richer. It looks a little bit darker than the outside. Well, yeah, a lot. So this is the shirting fabric. And like I said, it's a bunch of little mini, mini stripes going down. I have no idea what I want to make with any of these pieces of the fabric, but I saw them online and I was like, I like it. So I'm going to buy it. Now this is just chocolate brown mid-weight baby well corduroy. I love this color. So those are my three pieces of fabric. Next I want to share with you four simplicity patterns that I picked up and then I also have a sewing make to share with you. So I picked up Simplicity 9234. I really really like this jumpsuit pattern. Now I don't think that I will make the belt whenever I do make this. I will probably leave the belt off but I do really like the puffy sleeve and I also like the sleeveless version too. thought this was really really nice. The next one that I picked up is Simplicity 9222. I like this however for me I think I would really like it more if the long version was longer. So I can see myself making this and just extending the skirt portion down maybe to the ankle. So I think that would be really cute. Next is Simplicity 8641. I really like the way that this looked in the back. So the front of it reminds me of like an apron that you tie around which is cute. And the back is really cute because it has these little loops and then you thread the straps through the loop and I just thought that that was just so cute and different. I can even see this being longer too like maybe down to the ankles I think that would be cute. The last one I think this is an older pattern. It's not one of the new 2021 spring patterns but it is Simplicity 8511 and what caught my eye about this pattern is view B the sleeves. I like the way the sleeve opening is there. It's very different. So that's what made me pick this pattern up just because of that little sleeve there. So my sewing make is actually another simplicity pattern and this is simplicity 8701. I made the pair of pants that the well, I want to say that the model is wearing, except she added the band at the bottom and I didn't add bands on mine, but I made the long pair of pants. And what I decided to do was to put the denim in some bleach. So I took the pants after I made them up and I put them in bleach and water in like the sink in my little laundry room area. And I let the jeans sit in the bleach for about an hour. Then I took them out and I put them in the washing machine. And because they were in the little sink area and they weren't stretched out flat, the 
dyeing process, the bleach washing process, it didn't actually make the jeans and the color come out even. But I like that. So you will get to see what the jeans look like in the end. I pulled them out of the washing machine and then I just threw them in the dryer. And then after they were all finished, I added a pocket onto the back left of the jeans. And I actually used a pocket from an old pair of jeans that I had from the thrift store. So I took the pocket off of a pair of jeans and then I just stuck it on the back of these jeans and just sewed it down. And I purposely put the pocket at an angle because I just wanted to do something a little bit different. And I only put one pocket. I did have to reduce the crotch the features in this pattern, there is a fly front zipper. There are pockets that do come with the pattern that you can add to the front of the pants. There are carriers that you can add to the pants. There are back darts and you can also add bands to the bottom of the hem if you want to, I guess, lengthen the pants. But I decided to leave those details off and I just stuck with the darts and the front fly zipper. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So you know how if you have guests come over to your home, they may ask you for the Wi-Fi password so that they can get on the internet. Well, I recently found out that there is such a thing as a guest Wi-Fi network. And you can set this up through your Wi-Fi router. And the reason you may want to do that is because a guest may accidentally download a malicious program or they may connect an already infected device to your network. So a guest Wi-Fi network will provide access to the internet, but not to your home network.